piece of artwork. Robin Jenkins. <laughs> hey guys, we're back. And uh, we're going to try and give you uh, a couple of ideas that uh, we used in the van. And really what it uh, goes around is the couch. Okay, so anyway, I see a lot of people building couches and uh, then they have to go and get uh, custom cushions made or, or they don't know exactly how to approach it. Okay, look at When you're building these couches, what we did was we went to Lowe's, Home Depot, any one of these places that sells cushions for outdoor furniture. Now, as it turns out, ours is 25 inches. There's a 25 by 25, and I believe there's a 24 by 24, but they're all, uh, the, the 25 inch ones are five inches thick. Uh, the other ones uh, are a little thinner, but they're 24 inches, but we didn't like that because there wasn't enough cushioning in it. But now having said that, we've had these in here uh, from the beginning, and they have also uh, started to uh, settle or compress. whatever, compress. and. Uh, so when you're sitting on them, you feel like you're almost bottoming out yeah, on you them. Yeah, you bottom out. Enough, uh, material. Yeah, like now, it, it, if yeah. you're using uh, lawn furniture, uh, that's fine because uh, usually it's a webbing that's holding it and uh, you know, you're not coming in contact with a, a, a rigid surface. So anyway, uh, I, I wasn't sure. Yeah, just a second. I, yeah, I, I wasn't sure what to do with these because I wanted to have the, the solid wood. And uh, I've actually been struggling with this because, uh, you know, what do you do, eh? And uh, I wasn't sure. So anyway, I, I went to a place the other day, just nosing around. I've been there before. They sell foam and things. And this is what I come up with. So anyway. Now I move? Get out of the way. <laughs> you have to pretend to be nice to me. Could you move, honey? Yeah, it's this no, it's, here. it was better first time. Okay. Anyway, I guess I have to move these yeah. things. Okay, yeah, I'll, get, I'll realize... get out of his way. I'll get. Oh, we're, look at the wrong thing. We're working the wrong place again. Oh, that's okay. Have to look yeah. at this. Yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah. What happens with these cushions is uh, you think they're foam and they're not. They're not actually because it's uh, fabric or uh, cushions for the uh, outdoor furniture. What it is, it's actually, um, well, you'll see here. It, it's this material here. It, it, it's like a fiberglass that's just put together. Because like a it, batting, it, almost like a batting. It's, it's a like, batting, yeah. yeah. It's a batting. And uh, I, I guess that's so that it doesn't hold water because uh, they're meant to uh, just stay outside and, uh, you know, don't do anything with them. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it's five inches deep normally. Uh, so what I did was I wanted to put foam in here, but I wasn't sure how to do it because I didn't want to put one piece of foam and then, uh, you know, how do you get it in there? So, actually what I saw for $2 a piece was uh, foam, one inch, or not one inch, one foot square by two inches, and it's like a, a higher density foam. And the, on the only way you're gonna get them in there is that if you take them and put them in a plastic bag, because they have to slide in. And so that's what I did, was I put uh, obviously one in each corner and then uh, uh, bring them forward and they are, they are a little tight, but when you put them in, they fit perfectly. And they, look at they, they slides in like nobody's business. So anyway, this is really uh, upgraded what we're uh, doing in the uh, van for comfort anyway. And if something should happen, I can replace them. and. Uh, I, I don't know where you'd be sourcing yours from, but in my case, they were only uh, $2 a piece. So basically for uh, $16, I've upgraded all these cushions and it feels a lot better because now you're not bottoming out. And uh, just in the normal compression of this uh, original material that was in these things, uh, I'm not forcing these at all. Like, like, like you can see, uh, you know, it, it goes in perfect. So the slack that was created by the, the normal compression is perfect for uh, installing these little uh, one by one pieces of foam. So, anyway, that's. Uh, Can I sit down now? Uh, come, come and sit beside me. <laughs> yeah, no, that's. So, that, so you can tease me. What, 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 what is your? Uh... Oh, it's so luxurious. <laughs> this is not sponsored. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> one by one square or whatever. Um, but anyway. See, originally we were going to use memory foam because yeah. we could buy some memory foam fairly inexpensive and that. But then we realized the memory foam compresses too much. Yeah. So we needed a more of a high density foam. Otherwise, yeah, the memory foam gets really, really compressed when you sit on it. It's more for laying on so that it kind of supports you in, in your heavier yeah. spots where you lay. So and, and, and it's, I, it's more supporting. Yeah, and I would even argue that these uh, cushions, because it's that white fabric, uh, it's almost like a, a woven, not a woven, but a, a spun type of uh, polyester or something. Uh, and and, and in, anybody who's uh, dealing with this will uh, relate to what I'm talking about. But anyway, uh, I don't think you sweat on them because they breathe better. Well, because they're... will now there's plastic under here. No, but that's way on the bottom. So I think that having that's... on the bottom? Oh, it, I see. It's on the very bottom, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but anyway, uh, uh, that's the idea. And the great part is, is that uh, if you want to change them every year, you know, you just go to your local uh, big box store and you yeah, can change... Yeah, just go on sale. We bought these on sale at the time. They were like... 40% off or something the yeah. time and they were too expensive. I think it was $70 a side and uh, I've seen people have them custom made. Oh, it was, more, it was they, less they than get, that. They can get pretty expensive. It so. was less than that, I think. Yeah. And so. they're nice heavy duty, like good, and they're, weather, they're the type of cushions that you can wash off and they don't... Yeah, get, they're, they're like a, a sunbrella uh, oh. material, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah. but anyway, uh, it's worked good for us. Uh, the, the only uh, issue we have with it is that the, the cushions are always falling off, the, the back ones because they're so large, but uh, you know what? We just lay them down. And the only when we drive, they don't fall off. It's only when we're driving. Yeah, while we're driving. When down. you take your corners really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, they're fine. avoiding moose. <laughs> moose. Just don't let them lick the vehicle. Yeah. Okay, are you gonna talk about those things too? Oh, well, those things. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you see them here in the van. You turn the mm -hmm. chair. Uh, I can bring the camera up. No, no, no. Just leave them right there. Okay, here's what we know. We can do like a zoom in after maybe. Oh, oh, you take it out. Oh, he's going to take it out. Taking it out. He's taking it out. Okay. Okay, I bought these. And what they do is they, they you, you see, they go right into the van window. Turn it over. Turn it over. And uh, it's got screen on the back. Try to give you a, yeah, screen on the back. And it's vented. So what it does yeah, is, it, underneath too, yeah, it allows airflow. And then the, uh, the window, when it, uh, when it comes up, there's a slot in here that it goes into, and uh, they're definitely well made. I, I bought them out of the uh, United States, and uh, uh, they come from uh, Germany. So they're aluminum, they're black anodized, and I think I probably paid about uh, $80, $90 a piece shipped. So, uh, Not too bad. Yeah, we're, we're, we're uh, pretty happy with them. But I will tell you one little thing about them. Is that? Wait, it, wait! I'm showing yeah, them. Okay. I'm, I'm demonstrating. Okay, Vanna. <laughs> <laughs> See the space of the the window goes in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, and they do work well. So, uh, but uh, in a situation where you're running down the highway with them, uh, what I have found is, uh, I guess, just the Venturi effect of the of the vehicle That's a big moving. Word. Yeah, starts with the V. Uh, going by it sucks air out of the out of the uh, van and it will uh, pull air from the toilet so if you're but that's only if you don't have the vents or fans yeah open, so right? what you have to do to counter yeah. that you have to cr get rid of that negative air pressure which yeah. I've spoken of before because of yeah. you know that's a small fan you can't have too big of a fan then you're yeah. sucking all the heat out or the air conditioning or whatever so yeah, uh, yeah. One of the vents has to be cracked to get rid of that negative pressure. So, back yeah, yeah, I know. Look at that camera. Yeah. You keep looking at yourself there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you got the phone set up there yeah. and the camera there, but he likes to look at himself in, his, in the phone to watch his reflection. So he You're keeps jealous. watching himself. You're and, I, and when he's telling me about the seats, the whole time he's looking over here. I keep going, look here, look here. So <sighs> it's going to be a long, long. Day. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Okay, so look at I've talked. Yeah, you you've talked, that's the most you've ever talked. Hashtag free Rob. Free Rob. Free Rob. <laughs> <laughs>
excited. Can't wait for the M21. That's going to be fun. Yeah. We go to the M21 because we're going to meet a whole bunch of people that we have been chatting with online for a while on YouTube, some of our new friends, and it's going to be really exciting to meet up with a lot of you guys. So I'm not going to name names because I'll miss half of you, and then that's not fair. So, But we're looking forward to meeting a lot of you guys at M21 in Michigan. I hope the borders are open. Does he want to start traveling so August. badly? They're supposed to be open in the middle of August. Yeah, they said that for a year and a half. Yeah. We'll see. So. I hope so. I hope so. Okay. Anyway. So, that could be a short one. Is yeah. that enough? You're, that's a lot yeah. of talking for you. Yeah, I know. Not often I get a word in edgewise. That's very, uh, very true. Yeah, so anyway. No uh, poem today. No, no poem. poem. No poem. Yeah. Yeah, we're just trying to get ourselves on the road here. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. What's this red thing? Uh-oh. Only 10% of battery remaining. Well, oh, I guess, I we'll... guess that's our cue to hey, go. <laughs> that's our cue to go. So. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. Talk to you later. Uh, let us know places in Ontario you'd like to see because we're going to eventually get traveling out there. We're thinking maybe going to like Point Pelee and some of the more southern parts of Ontario in September. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And then from there, we'll see where we're going, maybe through some beautiful... Algonquin and some really really nice color all the changing colors in Algonquin and that kind of thing the trees beautiful beautiful and oh yeah October. yeah I really so hope we'll to get do some that nice yeah there. yeah I've so missed it a number of years and absolutely beautiful we're gonna hang up because so. we're gonna lose our yeah we're, we're we're fading folks we're so fading. Uh, we'll see you later bye bye nice chat with you see ya that's it now it's your turn you gotta turn it's it my on. turn I just turned off hit the red button on the uh, camera yeah that one did yeah Oh, which one? <laughs> you have choices. Which one do I turn off? This one? Yeah, yeah. I'll you do it. I don't know how to press it. I don't know how to do this stuff.